do you see any big differences from the other side of the ball between Cody and Jeff? Not really. I mean, they're both great, both great leaders. As KD said, uh, I mean, as long as, as long as he does, as long as he does what Cody did, or even better, that's good enough for us on defense. I don't want to hear you don't pay any attention to this stuff. How does it feel for you and some of your members of the secondary to get national recognition as saying that y'all are some of the best in the country in your position? Oh, well, uh, I mean, I, I always say work in silence and, I mean, uh, yeah, work in silence and your efforts will be boasted. I mean, that's last year, though. Yeah, we have another, another season. Hopefully, we'll do just as great as we did last year and even better. I've got some talented defensive backs, especially in the safeties. How how well do you think like maybe some some of the the true freshmen and Ephraim Kitchen and some of those guys and, and James Jackson how how have they come along this fall? I've come along great. I mean, from the first day to now, I mean, everybody looks great in shorts on the first day. So the efforts that they've made, the strides that they made from day one to now, uh, it's been tremendous and it's it's eye opening. Uh, I mean, they're learning from they're learning from us. We've had we have a lot of game experience. Uh, us for the starters right now. So learning from us, it's a great, it's a great tool and a great resource for them. You ended the season on a high note with the win over Illinois, but do y'all use the Marshall game as any motivation going into this year? Every game we lost and every game we won. Uh, some of the games we won, we don't think we played our best. And the games we lost, we definitely, I mean, definitely don't think we played our best. So each game, each game we learn from. It. You're a West Monroe guy and grew up within earshot of, of Louisiana Tech. Um, how would you characterize just the, the expectations and, and kind of the hype surrounding the program heading into the season? Uh, I mean, this, this as a team, this is what we want, really, believe it or not. Uh, I mean, last year we were counted out. This year we we're, you know, we we're predicted to be the top team. And as a competitor, this is what you want. You want to be the top team and predicting, and, uh, I mean, every day we try to go out and prove not only you guys right, but prove that what we think that we could do, prove it right as well. Do you think everyone in the locker room shares that viewpoint? A lot of people would say, oh, we're, we don't really pay attention to that. It seems like you, at least you personally, do. I mean, we read it. I mean, it's everywhere, and you have to read it. But in the day when, when the football's on the field, I mean, when, when the season kicks off, all that goes out the picture. Uh, papers are, I mean, games aren't played on paper, play on the field. In terms of like the fan support, just from this year to last year, can you tell the difference, just the interest in the program, you know, at this same media? Well, that's, a, that's, a great, that's a great buzz around here uh, for this upcoming season. And, uh, I mean, when you win, people come, basically. With this scrimmage coming up later today, what kind of goals have you set for yourself and what do you want to see from this defense out there? Uh, for this defense, um, to play with, uh, to be physical, play smart, and have a sense of urgency, and uh, for the young guys, for them to, you know, this is kind of their first time being in a live setting and having fans there as well. And it's a kind of a pre-up game for, for a regular for a regular season game. Uh, we just want to see, I mean, how that how that'll be. Uh, I say on game day. I'm sure when you were getting recruited, you were promised a lot of stuff, and we're going to get all these new facilities. How nice is it, especially for you, to, to see it happen and kind of towards the back end of your career, like the end zone project getting you know, the new facilities? That's not even great. It's great for me, great for our team. It's great for the city of Ruston. Just, um, just to see some efforts being made to support us and see our hard work doesn't go unnoticed.